hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your favorite girl i only am a nigerian content creator who lives in canada if you're new here you're welcome if you're an old subscriber thank you so much for all your love and support and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button you guys should hit that subscribe button let's get to 4,000 subscribers it is free guys subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification bell so you get notified every single time i post a video so thank you guys for sharing my video thank you so much for leaving comments in the comment section thank you so much for interacting with me so today guys i bring to you guys i know this is something you may have heard before in my channel but there's an upcoming new brunswick event and that is why i'm here today i can't keep talking brunswick event because it is something i'm really passionate about it is something that brought me to canada it is something that helped me meet my immigration goals it's something that helped me get my canadian dream so um this is why i'm talking about it this is why i'm encouraging you guys to participate so there's an upcoming new brunswick event it is happening in february february the 24th and february 25th um of this year and it's for mostly healthcare workers so if you're in the healthcare field probably you're in healthcare aid you're a caregiver you're a nurse you're a licensed practical nurse then this event is for you i want you to continue to watch this video so you get more informed about the new brunswick events and i'll be sharing like a bit of my story so you guys know how i immigrated to canada that is if you've not watched the video of how i immigrated to canada i'll just share a bit of that video and i'll leave that link of that video also in the description box so you get informed about how i moved to canada so um guys um let me just explain what the new brunswick event so the new brunswick event is like a job recruitment event whereby employers of different um um industry they come together and say we need employees in this field that field maybe probably in transportation health care manufacturing to come work in my company to come add their skills to my province so this is what the new brunswick event is all about so the new brunswick event i attended was um, um a combination of four provinces PEI, Nova Scotia, New Finland, and New Brunswick. So they came together, employers in these provinces came together and organized this event and say, okay, we need MM and workers in healthcare, we need workers in transportation, we need workers in engineering, we need workers in education. You guys come together and tell me what you can do for my my province, what you can do for my company. So I attended this job event and as God would have it, <laughs> as God would have it, I got a job offer and I migrated to Canada with my family. So there's an upcoming one, like I said, and I'll, it is mostly for healthcare workers. And I would love you guys to apply for it. I'm just basically going to tell you guys what you need to apply. Most of the time, you need IELTS proficiency test to show that you can actually speak English and you need an ECA report. For those of you that are not aware, an ECA means Education Credential Assessment. So you go to like a body like West, you fill up an application online and do evaluate your degree to what um, it's equivalent to in Canada. And it's not just West, there are other um, um, credential assessments, um, companies that could evaluate your result, but I use West, so you can check for um, the company that would be best for you to evaluate your your own degree, but I use West and it was easy. I got my report in about two months. So it was something I did and it was very fast. So you need West, you need IELTS, if you're going to attend this job fair, um, to tell the employer that okay i've already evaluated my degree and this is what my degree is equivalent to in canada and i can speak very good english this is my ielts so they basically um what they will ask you in the job fair um this one is a virtual job fair so what they will ask basically is your experience share a few experiences with them that's basically basically a conversational interview it's not like a very strict interview as it what you did this, this, this it's just a conversational interview with the um recruiter and if you are best fit for their company they will give you a job offer so once they give you the job offer i'm just going to tell you guys what i did afterwards after i got my job offer i went to the province of pei because i live in pei um under the occupation of demand street i did an expression of interest eoi so what is expression of interest expression of interest is saying that 
okay i meet the requirement for the occupation of demand stream oid and i want to come to your province i want you guys to nominate me to come live in your province so i checked the requirements and one of the requirements is that i had a, i should have a job offer so i had a job offer i had my ielts um i was above a band four in my ielts i had my eca my partner had this eca and we just basically um applied for the um um expression we just applied for the expression of interest afterwards we got an ita ita is invitation to apply for provincial nomination on the provincial level so we got an ita for my province we submitted all of our documents afterwards after a month and a month and a half we got what they call um, a provincial nomination certificate that provincial nomination certificate you can use it to apply for a permanent residence and also we got what they call a work permit support letter that document you use it with other documents required by ircc to apply for your work permit so we submitted all those documents they requested from us with the work permit support letter and in less than two weeks we got our work permit we came to canada and we submitted another application for our permanent residence but the permanent residence was under the non-express entry we didn't need the express entry pool anymore we just submitted a list of documents given to us because um, occupation in demand is under non-express entry so we um, had to use the non-express entry and the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm i keep saying non-express entry is because the processing time for a non-express entry application is 14 months a lot of people don't want to go through that they want to go through the express entry but the draws right now i think the last draw they did was about 547 or 548 around that figure so it's really really high and i don't know if it's gonna drop so this is why i'm encouraging you guys to go under the non-express entry um, PR. the express entry PR. the processing time is about six months six months the non-express entry is 14 months but if you're lucky and your case officer processes your file very fast you can get your PR in like nine months i got my PR in nine months so it depends i've seen people that got their PR in five months too in six months too so it's something i really really encourage i'll leave all the link in the description box so you guys can click on it and if you have more questions you can leave your questions in the comment section and please do not forget to share this video like this video comment in the comment section interact with one another and i'll see you in the next one bye